What's going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and today we're doing something a little bit different. Uh, we're not doing like a full-on showcase video but uh, I know that since this character has come out being Sugo Fest exclusive sugar a lot of people have been trying to theorize and have a look at different ways you can use the character and one of the big benefits of utilizing sugar on your team is the amazing effect that the toy bears have because not only do their normal attacks bypass enemy barriers and stuff but they also give you a 0.7 chain boost. So people are trying to think, you know, what kind of things can you do with that? So in this video today, I want to just explore not only just with sugar, but other types of chain boosting mechanics that we can kind of implore uh, potentially with sugar as well in this video. So we're going to be using a couple of different chain captains and exploring what we can kind of do. And I, I don't know, I might miss a couple of things in this video. If there are further ways to enhance the chain, definitely let me know down below in the comment section. Um, but I guess without further ado, we're going to be jumping into, as I said, um, we're not not really going to be using sugar in every single team but she is going to be uh, definitely a flagship unit in a lot of these teams of course um, but I guess without further ado let's go ahead and get into this video today okay so now we're going to be trying out and seeing how Mihawk goes in terms of chain multiply boosting now I did try and get a boost from the previous turn and unfortunately didn't work out too well we're just too strong man but either way uh, that's not important anyway the attack multipliers do not matter what we're look really looking at here is the chain multiply boost now with Mihawk if you guys remember what his captain effect is it is uh, does it actually show it here no it's only his special ability but his captain effect is a 1.75 attack and a four times chain multiply growth rate boost so every captain in, in that we're going to be using in this video is going to be a chain multiply growth rate captain so first of all um, we're going to be using the Trafalgar law special this v3 law is so amazing because not only does he provide an orb boost to all characters but he also does really good orb manipulation and he has that really really nice added effect where he um, he sets your base chain multiplier to 2.5 times. However, there is a little bit of an annoyance with that because it will cap out your chain multiplier at 35 times. So it doesn't mean that you're going to reach 35 times. It just means that if you ever do reach that 35 times multiplier, you can't exceed that. So that's a little bit of a downside there. But either way, we're going to be using his special ability because that's going to set our chain multiplier at 2.5 times at the very beginning rather than starting off at a 1.0 times multiplier so it does make a big difference which you guys will be seeing here and then on top of this because it is a base chain multiplier uh, boost you actually can stack this with regular chain multipliers so that's why we have legend cracker because he is going to give our, our, our team a 1.1 times chain boost um, and you, obviously you got to really read your character specials because even though Trafalgar Law is a base chain unit, um, you see that the, the buff that he gives is literally the exact same um, multiply or the exact same icon that a regular chain lock would give, but it's technically not a chain lock. It, it's a very, very weird mechanic that he has. Uh, then on top of it, we're just going to just do other specials. It really does not matter what we do at this point. We're just going to be launching a bunch of specials. And then we want to hit our perfects, and we want to see what kind of chain multiplier we can reach today. So let's go ahead and have a look at what we can get. Here we go. Okay. Two. Three. Four. There we go, 27.6 multiplier. So that's actually not that much higher compared to what you would see uh, generically with uh, with Mihawk as your captain. So by adding the, the lore and also the cracker, it didn't actually add that much to the chain multiplier, unfortunately. Uh, if there is any other type of units you could potentially run on this team that would enhance that, definitely let me know down below in the comment section. But uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next team. Okay, so the next team that we have here is going to be utilizing Super Type Sabo, which is also a chain multiplier booster captain. Um, his captain effect is a four times boost to strength characters, and then he also gives you the 1.5 chain multiplier boost. Uh, so it's it's a really good captain effect, honestly. It's just the fact that it's just a, it's just a big problem that his uh, special ability doesn't really help out too much here. But this is going to be super interesting to see how much of a chain we're able to get with a chain multiplier boost that typically isn't going to be. Uh, as high as some of those other chain booster captains. But you got to remember, he still has a base four times attack boost. So adding a massive chain on top of that is going to increase your, your your damage output quite significantly here. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and launch the Trafalgar Law Special, which once again is going to give us that really nice base chain that we uh, that we all know and love. So we're going to go ahead and launch his special, and it also gives us the orb boost, of course. Um, now from here. 
The reason why we had to go on this stage is because we needed a character that had a barrier. So it allows us to use the Hitetsu special, which is going to go ahead and give us a 1.1 times chain multiplier boost, which does equal up to Legend Cracker, except this guy's a strength unit, so he does more damage under Sabo, of course. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and launch the super type special of Sabo, which is going to uh, give you a chain multiplication of a 1.25, which is actually the same type of uh, boost that the switch effect of Sanji and Judge can give. It's a really, really nice addition there. Um, and then from there, we... Uh I mean, we could just use the Snake Man special if we wanted to, but that's going to actually kill someone, so we don't actually want to do that. Um, I guess we can just launch a Sabo special just because we can. doesn't really make a difference at this point. Um, so let's go ahead and launch the Sugar special at this point. So Sugar, of course, is going to have all those really, really cool effects where you can get uh, the Toy Bears, which, of course, give you the 0.7 chain boost every time that they attack. Um, so with everything here now of course we didn't have the snake man boost here but it doesn't actually matter because we've got the all boost from law this is going to be interesting to see how much damage we're able to get so uh what i'm what i'm going to try and do is i'm going to see if i can just let snake man attack last uh on the dex character if i can do some some uh target change but we'll see how we go here let's see here we go let's do it okay and the last character is going to attack And that's a 14.07 chain and a 51.7 million damage. That's pretty impressive. That's pretty impressive. And uh, there actually wasn't a single attack boost on the team either. So that could even, even you know, increase the damage even further than what it already was. So that's crazy, yo. That is actually crazy. Uh, a 14.07 multiplier on top of a four times captain with all those boosts active. It's pretty impressive. So that's super type Sabo for you guys. Now let's go ahead and move on to the next team. Alright, so now we're going to be trying out V3 Kuzan, who again is another type of chain captain that is very similar to V2 Mihawk, where he is a 1.75 attack boost, and then a 4 times chain multiplication boost. So, in this team, as you can see, we have Legend Sugar once again, and we have Legend Cracker. Now, unfortunately, you can't put V3 Law on a Kuzan team because you won't get the Captain effect to activate, and also, in turn, you would not be able to have Sanji and Judge because they're also a Sai unit, so there's a lot of restrictions with Kuzan. You can't put all the really good chain-boosting units that you would want on this team. So at this point, we're just going to be launching all of our specials here. We're just going to be doing as much damage as we possibly can. So I'm just using the Onami special to give us a higher conditional boost than what it kind of would give. Uh, let's go ahead and launch the Kruzan special, which is going to give us the orb boost and the color affinity. We're going to go ahead and launch the Cracker for his chain boosting effects. Uh, we're going to go ahead and also launch the Akano just for his attack boost. Nothing really too special there. And then we're going to be launching Sugar. Now, Sugar is super interesting, right? Because Sugar is going to be a god tier subunit for V3 Kruzan. Um, because obviously Kuzan being a chain boosting captain and if you've got sugar which can turn everyone into toy bears and just every give everyone additional um, chain multiplication then it makes Kuzan's captain effect like way better than what it normally is and we've also got the chain boost on top of it so it's going to be super intriguing to see how high the chain multiply boost we're going to be able to achieve here so I'm very excited to see how we go um, once again I'm going to see if I can change my uh, attack so I can let Akainu attack the dex crab at the end and see how much damage we can deal so without further ado, let's see how we can go. Let's do it. Okay. Looking pretty good so far. Oh, no. Okay, the target's already changed. Okay, we can't really worry about damage. But we get a 58.1 multiplier boost. 58.1? Woo! 58.1 under V3 Kruzan, who also gives the 1.75 attack boost, plus all of those boosts on top of it. I mean, we can keep going with Sugar. So how much with... The Cracker Chain Boost continuously on there as well. So 35, 46.9, 58.1 again. So that's just... That's so amazing, dude. <laughs> and at this point, we can actually kill Mihawk if we wanted to. Just by utilizing the special ability of V3 Kruzan. But we're not going to do that. We're going to go ahead and jump into one final team in this video today. Okay, so this is the final team that we are going to be testing out today. Now, you might be thinking, why are we using this Rayleigh? Now, the really key thing here is, is the fact that this Rayleigh being the six-star form of the version one counterpart of Rayleigh, he's a fighter and cerebral unit, whereas the Super Evolved version is a fighter slasher. So those classes are quite key because Legend Cracker is unable to get his chain multiplier boost if 
he, if, if your other captain obviously doesn't have the right classes. So there's lots of really annoying things about that, but we want to be using Legend Cracker because he's dope. Uh, then we've also got Sanji Judge. Now, Sanji Judge are so, so good for adding more chain to your team. Now, this is why we've started here at the Smoker and Tashigi stage, because we're actually going to be showcasing the actual chain multiply in the next room. But I just wanted to show off how much chain multiply boost that you get just with this switch effect. Now, normally, when you hit all of your perfects, you get a 25 times boost, which is the same as, you know, V2 Mihawk and uh, V3 Kuzan. If you hit all perfects with no other chain boosts, it's 25 times multiplier. However, if we use the switch effect of Sanji and Judge, and now we hit our perfects, let's have a look and see what multiplier we get. Thirty one point two five. So that adds a pretty good amount of damage to your team just with that switch effect of Sanji and Judge giving the multiplication of a one point two five times chain multiply boost. It really does make a big difference. So moving on to stage 18, this is the one where we're going to be using all of our specials right here. OK, so from here, we're going to go ahead and use the Cracker special ability, which is going to give us the chain multiply boost of one point one chain. And then from there, we're going to go ahead and use the switch effect of Sanji and Judge. Uh, just for the hell of it, we'll just use their special as well, just because why not? Uh, it doesn't really make a big difference at this point. Now, let's go ahead and launch Sugar. So at this point, we've got the switch effect of Sanji and Judge. We have the 1.1 chain multiply boost from Cracker. And now we have all of the toy bears to, uh, just, just to give all of the additional chain boost as well. So this is going to be super intriguing. One thing to note though, is I really wanted to bring V3 lore to this team because having that base chain multiply, it wouldn't have added a crazy amount of damage, but it would have been nice because it's an additional bit of chain. However, remember, as we mentioned a little earlier, there is the small debuff with lore where you, you cannot let your chain exceed 35 times. So that is why V3 lore is not on the team. It's why Raid Crocodile wouldn't be on this team either. He would fit because our captain is a Cerebro unit. It, but unfortunately, the the small um, the, the small caveat of their specials uh, does not allow your chain multiply to exceed 35 times. So with all of these specials active, I'm very excited to see what we can get here. Here we go. Let's do it. Let's see what this chain multiply is able to reach. 16, 30, 44, 58. 72.35. There we go. 72.35. Three, five. That is actually absurd. Yo, oh my god. And this is again, uh, we've got Cracker attached to the Sugar special. So I think this was a 52 times chain before. Uh, how much is this? Oh, it's a 58. Yeah, 58.1. But there you go. 72 times chain multiply boost. Man, you love to see it, man. This is so much fun to do. But of course, these are not typical teams that you're going to use to clear content. But it's just super interesting to see uh, what type of chain multiply boost we're actually able to achieve there. But we're going to wrap up this video right here. Uh, th that is all the different teams I have for you guys in this video today. So that's going to wrap up the video today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. And if you guys did enjoy it, make sure you go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content that I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But on that, guys, I will see you guys within the next video.